In this tutorial we are going to create rivers. To create rivers is very similar as to when you create roads. So let's find an area where we want to create a river. Uh, but before we cover that you can see that another way is you can lower the terrain down below sea level. And this is the ocean that you see out here and it will show up in your terrain. But to create rivers you have a lot more control of where you place them they can be above sea level and they're not dependent on the ocean. So let's go ahead and create a river right in this area. Uh, first we need to do is we need to prep our terrain to have a river in it. So we need to create some sort of a pathway where a river is going to be. So I'm just going to go modify and use the flatten tool and flatten some of this area out where I want to have my river. So let's increase the radius a little bit higher and let's pick a spot paint this area out so here we have an area for where the river is going to go so to create a river just go to your objects tab click on miscellaneous and click on river here you place key points just like you would when you create in a road and we're going to create key points along the dip that we carved out so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit higher. I'm going to left click, start the pathway, and I'm just going to drag, left click again, and place key points along the way. And I'm just going to create a few of these, and when I'm ready to finish the river, I'm just double click to finish it. Now that we have our pathway created, let's take a look where it's at. Uh, we need to raise it a little bit. So let's go to the move tool, let's grab the entire river, and move it up. The best way for you to create a river uh, is it needs to be a flat surface. Do not use the Z tool on individual points. So when we scroll down we can edit individual key points. But when you do that you want to be very careful not to drag them up. You want to keep them on a flat X, Y surface. So if you're going to move them, make sure you move them along Y or X. So if you need to reposition some of the points, go into the Edit menu, and by left-clicking and selecting one, you can move them left and right, back and forth, or X, Y, which will move them in any direction across, or forward and back. But make sure you avoid using the Z to drag them up. So let's go and Control tab into an orthographic viewport and make sure that we have the river selected and let's modify some of these points individually and move them down so they're on the same height. So what I'm going to quickly do is right click and modify and configure my layout so I can see the river a little bit better. So let's go ahead and edit our points make sure it's Z and let's just drag some of these down So now that we have it on somewhat even plane, this is what we want. A river that is straight. So I'm going to configure my layout again, go back to just perspective. So now that we have the river position how we want it and it's on a flat plane, let's go ahead and add a material. So I'm going to click off the shape editing, go up and let's select all material where it says no custom material, click on this and let's open up material folder. In here you have a few folders you can take a look at. So the first folder is ocean. You have a few materials you can use in here. Another one you may want to take a look at is under levels. Let's open up CXP and we have a few materials for river forest, A, B. Also here on the bottom we have another few water materials as well. And you can take a look at what they look like in the preview by hovering over the diffuse name. So let's go ahead and uh, let's use, let's open up the ocean folder and let's use the lake material. So once you have it selected you want to click on assign items to selected objects and your material will show up on the river. Let's close this and you can see the river is in here with the material applied. This material I'm not a fan of this so let's change it really quick. Let's go back to materials and let's use the levels folder and let's open up 
River Forest A. Let's assign it, see what that looks like. It's a little bit better. Once we have it, let's close this. And this is a much better material. Now we can begin to modify certain properties of this river. Once you have the river selected, scroll down, you have river parameters. Here we can define the width of the river so it fills in the banks of our crevice that we carved out from the terrain. So let's set it at 10. It's still not enough. So let's do it uh, about 15. Let's go up to 20. And there's still a few areas that we want to fill in and we can control some of these areas specifically for this key point. We can override the width for each one. So let's go ahead and modify some of the other properties for each key point. Let's uh, make the width of this key point a lot bigger. So if we scroll down and hit edit, we can begin to modify each key point. So I'm going to select the second one first. Let's see if I can move it over. I'll on X, Y, and it's still not enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove default width and input my own width in here. I'm going to set it to 30. And I'm going to select this one, unclick default width, and set this to 40. Let's grab it, let's move it a little bit, center it, and let's do that for every other point. I'm going to set this to 30 move it a little bit and let's set the last one to 30 as well and let's move it over and actually let's pump this up to 40 so now it covers the entire area and if we want to take a look at the river a little bit better just hit shift space to get rid of the helpers and we can see it's a lot better all right let's hit shift space again to bring that back Let's unclick Edit Tool. Now let's go back up and let's modify a few other properties. Depth is how deep you want your river to be. Right now we don't need to modify this because it's hitting the bottom of our carved out terrain. Speed means not the speed of the river, but the speed at which the objects will move, physics objects will move across the river. Fog density applies to the underwater so let's go into the fog density and let's modify this. So if we bump this up to 1, it's very thick. 0.5, it's a little bit less. So let's bring it back down to 0.1. And then fog color, let's modify this to another value. So let's click on the color picker and let's bring it down to something more deep blue. Something like this. And then fog multiplier is kind of gives a little brightness to the fog. So if we switch this to zero, we can see everything and it's super clear. But we want to have a little more haze. It's 0.5 and that looks pretty good. So now that we have uh, modified a few properties in here, let's uh, jump in and take a look at what this looks like in game. And this river looks pretty good. And we can jump inside and we will swim in the water and it will react like regular water like you would in the ocean. So there are a few other properties that we can modify for this river. So let's go ahead and bring this back. Let's select it. And if we click on the material, we have the material window back up. And in here, if we scroll down for the material that we're using for the river, and you open up shader parameters, and shader generation parameters. In here, there are a few options for the river that you can modify as well. So you have two sets of options. One is done through the river parameters in here in the rollout bar, and the other one is done through material editor. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few. Shader parameters has quite a few options of how you want your river, your material of the river to behave. So let's say we modify detail normal scale. Let's set this to 2 and you can see that it increased the texture the material scale uh, a lot higher and you can kind of go through one by one and uh, change the values and see what they do and if we scroll down to shader generation parameters we have a few other check marks that we can put in and see what that does to the water water volume if we switch this off see what this looks like this doesn't even act like water anymore. 
sunshine and it begins to reflect the sun in the water. We can also add some foam. We will add foam on the edges where it's touching the terrain. So you have quite a few options and you can go and modify the water to exactly how you want it to look inside your map. So at this point we have modified and placed the river. Again let's jump in for the last time. Behave and acts like water and we can begin to swim through it. And the last part we want to paint a new layer so the bottom of the lake looks more like it's underwater. So if we go we already have a layer set up and to learn how to do this uh, make sure you watch one of the earlier tutorials. So let's go ahead on the water. We have a layer set up. And let's decrease the radius. So when we're underwater we actually see the bottom with a different material applied.